Your vehicle's driver information center is the place you'll go to learn what's happening under the hood and all around you. The DIC displays trip, fuel, vehicle system information, and warning messages, as well as the odometer and compass. DIC controls. The DIC is operated with the turn signal lever on the left side of the steering wheel. On the lever, you'll see the menu button. By pressing it, you'll access both the trip and fuel information menu and the full vehicle information menu. To access and adjust menu items, just scroll using the thumb wheel here. To record or reset your settings for any item, use the Set Clear button at the end of the turn signal lever. Trip Fuel Menu When you scroll through the Trip and Fuel Information menu, you'll see several items listed. These include the Digital Speedometer, which shows the speed the vehicle is moving the odometer and trip 1, and the odometer and trip 2. These can be reset with the set clear button. The fuel range display shows the approximate distance your vehicle can be driven without refueling. This is calculated from the average fuel economy of the car, combined with how much fuel is remaining in the tank. The trip fuel menu also tells you the car's gas mileage as you're driving it. Just scroll to average fuel economy or on some vehicles, to instantaneous fuel economy. Average fuel economy tells you miles per gallon since it was last reset by the set clear button. Instantaneous fuel economy tells you your current miles per gallon at that moment, as it may vary from changing driving conditions. You can monitor the car's average vehicle speed. This tracks the vehicle's average speed during any time frame that may reflect changing driving conditions, such as hilly terrain, or snowy weather. This gauge can be reset any time you press the set clear button. You can monitor how long it takes to make certain trips using your vehicle's timer. It can record up to 100 hours and to start, stop, or reset it, just use the set clear button on the turn signal lever. Vehicle information menu. To access the Vehicle Information menu, press Menu again, and the category will appear on the DIC display screen. You may see Unit, which means the unit of measurement. This can be set by simply pressing the Set Clear button, and then rotating the band to US or metric. This way, vehicle speeds can display in either miles or kilometers per hour. By scrolling with the band, the menu's other items will appear, such as tire pressure, remaining oil life, and battery voltage. When remaining oil life appears, it will show a percentage of how much oil life remains in the engine. If the gauge is low, a change oil light will appear, and you should change the oil as soon as possible. Please note, when the oil is changed, the remaining oil life display must be reset with the set clear button. Unlike the fuel range indicator, the oil gauge will not reset automatically. Using your dealership for your regular maintenance will ensure this is reset correctly. Vehicle Messages The Driver Information Center is also equipped to alert you of potential problems with your vehicle. You may even see multiple vehicle messages, one after the other. Some messages you will see will not require immediate action, and once acknowledged, you can either clear them by pressing that Set Clear button. Just a note, the messages that require more immediate action cannot be cleared until that action is performed. Here's an overview of the messages you may see in your DIC. A battery message, like one of these, will let you know when your voltage has reached a critical point. You also get notifications on the current status of your braking system, including letting you know when your brake fluid is low, or when the parking brake has been activated and you attempt to drive. You'll see this display when in a set speed in cruise control mode. If you see this symbol, you quickly know which doors are not properly closed. It's important that the engine in your car doesn't overheat. The DIC will give you a warning if the AC has been shut off due to high engine temperatures. It'll also alert you when your coolant level is low, or if you need to idle, 
or shut off your engine due to overheating. If your vehicle is equipped with the object detection system, you may see any of these alerts when a feature is temporarily inactive. Many of the messages you'll see are designed to keep you and your vehicle safe and efficient, like tire pressure low, add air. It's normal for tire pressure to fluctuate during seasonal temperature changes. Your tire pressure monitor is designed to make you aware when the need to adjust tire pressure arises. This will help in maintaining good fuel efficiency and proper tire wear. There are some messages you'll see that indicate the need to take your vehicle into your dealership for servicing. You may see service power steering, or your tire monitoring system may need to be checked. Something is not working properly when you see service transmission. And you may see a general message like this. Your Buick dealer is happy to take care of these issues for you. Vehicle personalization. Next up, we'll look at your vehicle personalization system. This feature lets you tailor tons of features to your own individual preferences. To begin, press the configuration button in the center console. Then, turn the multi-function knob right or left to scroll down to vehicle settings at the bottom. Once a menu is highlighted, press the select button to select it. If you need to revert to a previous menu or exit the process completely, just press the back button. Let's take a look at the details. Once you've navigated to vehicle settings, start with the climate and air quality menu. Here you can adjust settings for a plethora of individual items like auto fan speed. When that is highlighted, press the select button and then turn the multi-function knob to highlight either high, medium, or low. Press the select button to confirm the choice. Then press the back button to go back to the last menu. You can follow this same process for these features as well. Air quality sensor, remote start auto heat cool, remote start auto heat seat, auto defog, and auto rear defog. The next menu is comfort and convenience. When you highlight and select it, you'll be presented with easy exit driver seat. Selecting this powers your seat rearward on exit to make it easier to get out. Next is auto memory recall. If selected, the vehicle will retain the last seat position based on the remote keyless fob that is currently being used in the vehicle. Next, you can adjust your chime volume. Next, you can choose whether you want to hear a beep when you make a selection on the IntelliLink screen. And lastly, you can choose whether you want the outside mirrors to tilt down as the vehicle is put into reverse using reverse tilt mirror. The next menu is for collision detection systems, which is especially helpful when making lane changes, alerting you to any objects or pedestrians that may be in your blind zones. Just highlight side blind zone alert system, then press the knob to place a check mark and activate this feature. The next menu lists a couple of lighting options for you. Vehicle locator lights may be utilized when unlocking the car with the remote keyless entry. Exit lighting lets you select how long your headlights will stay on when you leave the car at night. In the power door locks menu, there are three items listed. The open door anti-lockout, which may keep the driver door from locking when it is still open. The auto door unlock, which allows you to select which doors automatically unlock when the car is shifted into park. And the delayed door lock feature which delays the locking of the doors five seconds after the last door is closed. The final menu is the Remote Lock Unlock Start Selection, which provides several features for which to set specifications. Remote Unlock Feedback lets you choose whether or not to flash the lights when unlocking the car with remote keyless entry. Remote Lock Feedback allows you to choose whether or not your lights and horn will confirm that your vehicle is locked after pressing the lock button on your remote. Remote Door Unlock lets you set which doors the unlock button on your remote will control. Passive Door Unlock allows you to unlock all doors or just the driver's door by pressing the outside lock button when you have your remote with you. The Passive Door Lock feature locks the doors automatically 
when the remote that was with the car gets a few feet away. You can also receive an audible chirp to confirm the vehicle is locked. Remote left in vehicle chirps the horn automatically when a remote is left in the vehicle. It also prevents the vehicle from locking. Wow. If you're searching for more information about your vehicle's functionality, look no further than the Driver Information Center and Vehicle Personalization.